Welcome back. It is that time again, and well, we're finally about to get into the um. I forget the name of the quest, but the uh, the one that was given us to by the uh, Kitsune Mask Shrine Maiden. But first, we are in a new banner, as well as some new events. Fungus Mechanicus. I don't think uh, we've unlocked that. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do this one. Then again, it says quick start here. I might be able to do it. It says King Deshret, though. And the three magi. Probably not. Um, also, I'm not even sure I have the time for it. But, uh, yes, we have our Mika and, of course, Ayaka banner to wish on. Honestly, this is a fantastic banner for me. I want it because I still need to get Diona up to uh, C6 and, well, really same with Sucrose for that matter. So, one of those rare banners where I'm eager to get as many of those four stars as possible. I think we'll try. So, of all of these, we'll do obviously Mika's since we've never done him before. But we'll, I'll, uh, I want to take Ayaka for a test run as well. Since it's been a while since I just want to get a better sense for her again. So, as I understand it, yeah, how long does that last? So rude. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Ta, ta, ta. Yeah. Okay, so actually it lasts a pretty good amount of time. The, uh, the, the cry infusion is what I was testing out there. Um, because I was sort of planning out my build for her. and who I would want in a team with her. And I was thinking, because you absolutely want her to be doing cryo damage. And if uh, this only lasted for a second, then something like Chong Yun and his skill might have made sense, but it seems that's not necessary. All right, let's... Uh, That one also, doesn't that travel until it hits someone? Let's see. All right, let's uh, launch it. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does travel. Okay, that's what I thought. Surprisingly basic, uh, just AOE skill, but straightforward is fine. <laughs> I just used that on fire. Now, if I'm not mistaken, she also is, um... Well, I don't think we can see it here. But, um, I want to say she gets crit rate as her, uh, secondary stat, I think. Point being that I think building her for maximum crits is the way we'll want to go. Which means, of course, uh... Having two cryos, someone like Shenha. And uh, getting a freeze comp. Sort of team team that... So Hydro and uh, Cryo definitely will want in her team. 
Mac get her uh, crit rate up to as close to 100% as possible and then just pump everything into crit damage, I suppose. At least artifact wise. Silly churl, Billy churl. All right, let's, uh, let's test out our Mika here. Well, maybe we'll want him in our party. He's cryo. Not sure what role he has yet. All right, Mika. The scout Mika. Tapping Mika's elemental skill will allow him to fire a flow frost arrow. Oh, he's an arrow too. That's, um, for exploration purposes, if I have Ayaka, that's a consideration to keep in mind. You always want at least one archer in your team. Um, fire a flow frost arrow that can pierce opponents. Holding his elemental skill will allow him to aim the fire, aim and fire a rhyme star flare at a targeted foe. The rhyme star flare will split into shards that can la be launched at other opponents. After casting his elemental skill, he will grant active party members the soul wind state, which increases their attack speed. While they're on field. Ooh. That might be really nice too, depending on how much it is. After he unlocks a certain passive talent, Soulwind can also provide physical damage bonus based on the number of opponents hit with Mika's Elemental Skill. Actually, maybe he'll go well with Eula then. Or I think Rosaria has. Maybe. She doesn't have Cryo Infusion. So if you're using her as a main DPS, then it would probably be good for her too. Um, so yeah, Eula and Rosaria might have a nice Mika slot. His burst can restore HP. Oh yes, healing. Uh, for all party members, and allow and also bestow the Eagle Plume state. Which allows the active character to regain HP when their normal attack hits opponents. Fantastic. Yeah, he would go really well with uh, Rosaria and uh, and uh, Eula. Since it's only physical damage bonus and we want Ayaka doing cryo though, it doesn't synergize with her quite as well, unfortunately. I think Shenha will still be a better choice. Alright. Oh no, he's not an archer. He is a spearman. Oh hey, that's that's fun. He has a crossbow. That's awesome. I like that. I don't think I yeah, I think he is a that's a maybe someone else has that move set, but I don't think I've seen it. Alright then. A young knight born to be born to an ordinary family. He serves as a frontline surveyor in his company. He is a low-key and cautious character. <laughs> that he is. And he has a that that little strand of hair there always makes me think he has a feather. Using a Favonius Lance. Interesting choice. Generally I'm not as Big a fan of Favonius Lances as I am of uh, the Sacrificial counterpart, but at least in terms of energy recharge. Though actually, I don't know if the Lance version of the Sacrificial weapons does energy recharge. I think, for example, like the Catalyst does. Uh... No, yeah, because I think I have the Favonius Lance for uh, for Shangling. Tenacity of Millith and Emblem of Severed Fate. I don't think I have this one yet. Factor Confluence. The Soul Wind State of Starfrost Swirl can decrease the healing interval between instances caused by Skyfeather Song's Eagle Plume, Eagle Plume State. This decreased percentage is equal to the attack speed increase provided by Soul Wind. Oh, cool. 
companion's ingress. I'm sensing a reconnaissance, uh, yeah, scouting themed uh, <laughs> constellations. When star frost swirls, flow frost arrow first hits an opponent, or its rhyme star flare hits an opponent. One detector stack from passive talent suppressive barrage be generated. You must have unlocked the passive talent. Okay. Reconnaissance experience. Sunfrost encomium. When Mika's own Skyfather songs, Eagle Plume State heals party members. This will restore three energy to Mika. All right. This form of energy restoration can occur five times during the Eagle Plume State. I mean, that's 15 energy. That's nothing to sneeze at. Occurred by one use of Sky Feather Song. That's, well, 15 energy times whatever his energy recharges, right? Signal Arrow and Companion's Council. The maximum number of detector stacks that Star Frost Swirls Solwind can gain is increased by one. You need to have unlocked the passive, yes. Additionally, active characters affected by Soulwind will deal 60% more physical crit damage. Seriously. And Rosaria has a bonus to crit greater damage as well already, so. Honestly, he will go so well with Eula and Rosaria. Actually, if I remember correctly, I had the thought that Rosaria might go decently with uh, Eula herself as well. Honestly, Eula, Rosaria, and Mika, plus like Fischl or Superconduct, gets you the healing and then it gets you a lot of crit. Yeah, that might make a decent team, maybe. Normal attack, Spear of Favonius, Arrow's Passage. Okay. I always take a look at these, but I never have in mind what any comparisons. All right, Starfrost Swirl. Mika uses his crossbow to attack, granting all nearby characters in your party soul wind. When characters in the Soulwind state are on the field, their attack speed will be increased. Will take effect in different ways if tapped or held right. Tapping fires a fra flow frost arrow that can pierce through opponents. I wonder if that means that it'll continue traveling after it hits, it hits someone. Or if it just means it'll hurt them. Dealing cryo damage to enemies it comes into contact with. And if you hold it, it goes into aiming mode, locking onto an opponent and firing a Rhyme Star Flare at them. Oh! So more similar to Nahida then, perhaps. The Rhyme Star Flare hits, it will rise before exploding, launching Rhyme Star Shards into a maximum of three other opponents. Stars burst beneath the frosted skies. All right. Arrow does 107%, Flare does 134%, Shards do 40%. And it has the cool, same cooldown regardless. It seems to me a no-brainer that you'd want to do the aimed if possible. I suppose maybe it takes a slightly longer amount of time to actually unleash it. Perhaps. But. Yeah. Yeah. And then a 20% attack speed bonus. And I am a fan of the fact that the cool the duration is almost the same as the cooldown. Alright, Skyfather Song. Derives the ability to spur his teammates on from the recited prayers of the Knightly Order, regenerating HP. Huh. Are they actually a proper knighthood then? Including uh being semi uh a semi-religious order. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not confident that that's all knighthoods. 
now that I think about it. Historically speaking, not modern knighthoods. I know some knighthoods were explicitly religious, but... I suppose only insofar as the monarchies in general were by divine right to rule and all that. Anyways... Regenerating HP for all nearby party members. This healing is based on Mika's max HP and will grant them the Eagle Plume State. Right. And then Eagle Plume. When the normal attacks of active characters affected by Eagle Plume hit an opponent, Mika will help them regenerate HP based on his max HP. That seems like it makes uh, building him a little bit harder, though since this is the only thing that requires is max HP. Characters affected by the state can only regenerate HP in this way once per, per short interval of time. So I suppose you don't have to worry about his crit rate and crit damage, so... You know, artifacts... Well, let's see what his burst is first. Carry hope when in dire straits and keep vigil when all is well. For that, pure white plume shall at last guide the lost wayfarers. Okay, yeah, 70 energy. So you'd want attack percent, energy recharge, HP percent. And really, those are the big ones for him since he's not a DPS. Support and healing for the most part. Casting heals 19.5% plus 2198. That's actually... And then Eagle Plume, 3.9% plus 439. See, if I'm not mistaken, that's more similar to about where like Diona's and Bennett's healing rate is. Well, they have a higher... They add more like that to the percentage. So... I don't know, maybe you can, uh, maybe you can get away with not building up his HP too much and still have him be a very effective healer. 2.5 second interval. Wait, no, that only applied when you attack, though, right? Yeah, and it only does the active character. But the initial healing is... For all nearby party members, which is actually better than a lot of the other healers. I think he might be a salt. He's at least got to be an A tier support slash healer. But I might put him at a solid S tier for certain party configurations at least. Like I said, I think he'll slot really well into Eula. Maybe as a replacement for, uh, and probably Rosaria too, as a replacement for Diona on her team. Because Diona, I mean, let's be honest, she's more fit for a reaction based team, well, at least once you get her C6. Which we might be doing very shortly. I think she's at C5 currently. And another 18 cooldown and 15 second duration. It's also fantastic. So yeah, definitely needs energy recharge. A lot of it. But I think we'll uh have well, I think we have a spot for you, Mika. No matter what kind of environment you may find yourself in, yeah. With thorough reconnaissance, you should be able to establish a safe route. Very true. Reconnaissance is one of the most like proper intelligence in general. Reconnaissance is a part of that. Make uh, definitely makes or break uh, breaks an army, military. Uh. All right, let's see what you got. Uh, we'll do the aim version first. Precision strike. Let's try that again. I want to see um how far off I can aim and it'll home in on them. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. That's about what I thought. Now, I didn't see... It, it seems to burst off into the air pretty quickly. Doesn't do a lot of damage. 
like I said, he's not a DPS. He's not cut out for that. It's not his role. Let's try a normal one. Oh, that can do a little bit of AOE too. Okay. So let let's let them hit me a little bit. Okay, yeah, they come and they home in on just random characters. I saw them. They came to that one. Alright. Let's try this out. Leave the wounded to me. Oh, you know, I didn't really see uh How much uh, that initial one actually healed by? I suppose we could calculate it. 19% of that. Let's just say 20%. So, uh, about 6,000. Oh, you know, I never looked at what his other uh, talents were, I just realized. Suppressive Barrage. For the following circumstances, the soul wind state caused by Starfrost Swirl will grant characters the detector's effect, increasing their physical damage by 10% when they are on the field. Nice. Oh, he might also go well with other, uh, I was going to say something like Razor, but no, he's, uh, he gets electro-infused, I think. Though when he's not in his burst... He's physical at that point, so maybe. It would give him a nice superconduct. But that's only useful if he's physical. Um, if the flow frost arrow hits more than one opponent, each additional opponent will uh, generate one detector stack. Okay. So, does each detector stack grant another 10% or? When a Rhyme Star Shard hits an opponent, it will generate one detector stack. Each Rhyme Star Shard will can trigger the effect one time, right? I think it gets them additional 10%. In which case, yeah, he'll go really well with. You, I think. Topographical mapping. When an active character affected by both the uh, Skyfather Song, Eagle Plume, and Star Frost Swirls Soul Wind at once scores a critical hit with their attacks, Skull Soul Wind will grant them one stack of detector from Suppressive Barrage. Nice. During a single instance of Soul Wind, one detector stack can be granted in this manner. Okay, so only up to one, really. Additionally, the maximum number of stacks kit that can be gained through Soul Wind is increased by one. Requiring Suppressive Barrage to be unlocked first. Of course. Does, does it say how long they last? Um, I maybe just as long as the effect, as long as the uh, Starfrost Swirl. Maybe as long as it's on cooldown. I'm sure I could look at it. I'm sure someone's already figured out how long that lasts. Then display the location of nearby resources unique to Mondstadt on the minimap. It took them long enough to get that ability, I guess. Though maybe if someone like... Uh, I forget if any of their Mondstadt characters that, are, that I don't have currently have that ability. I don't think so. All right. Midnight, Let's end this. Precision strike. Oh no, he doesn't actually infuse. He's not like Sino in that. It's only the uh, cons uh, concurrent attacks that do the electro. In which case, yeah. Razor would... Uh, benefit greatly from well, both the Snow Tomb Star Silver and the uh, 
and Mika. Let's keep going, team. You had your chance. Well then. Alrighty then. I look forward to getting him. Probably can't build him up yet. I imagine he requires Sumeru uh, boss. Okay. Well, it's time to go wish on Ayaka. But first, we're going to take a little bit of a... Well, you're about to be transported back a little bit back into the past really quick. All right, we don't have much time left to make a decision on Sino. I was originally planning on skipping him this time around, but he really did win me over with his appearance in Windbloom. And I only need about 10 to 15 wishes to get him. So I think I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he really, he, he, he won me over. He, I fell in love with him as a character. And we'll still have enough wishes to probably get Ayaka. Depending on whether we get Sino, it'll either be a guarantee or another 50-50. Finally got another Kale. Kept getting Bennett's. Oh, another Dragon's Bane. That'll go to, uh, Hu Tao. Very good. And it will probably be on this one. Yep, what did I say? Are we going to get Sino, or are we going to have a guaranteed Ayaka? Another Kale, yes! Speaking of people who, I mean, she didn't have to win me over. I already thought she was uh, absolutely adorable, but now I just want to see her happy, and yeah. I'm sure she'll make a nice first Dendro character for me. Ah, oh, there he is. Yes. I I'm happy. I always liked his playstyle anyways. But his character, oh so good. So so very good. He is right up my alley. Kale, you have two new uh, constellations. I could read these right now, but I'm going to have to re-familiarize myself with her entire character anyways when I eventually use her. So there's not much point in going through them right now, at least not in too much depth. Passive talent. Grants the sprout effect from Floral Sidewinder. Very nice. And scent of summer. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, her, uh, I think that was her burst tarp card kitty. Adorable. Increase all nearby characters' elemental mastery by 60 seconds. Which isn't bad at all. Or by 60 for 12 seconds. Oh no, Trump Card Kitty is her, uh, is her boomerang. No, no. Floral Brush is her boomerang. Trump Card Kitty is the little bouncy toy. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with the name Quillen Ambar. 
don't know. Kind of sounds like Amber, maybe. I wonder if Amber is the one who taught her how to glide. And the big guy himself. That's cool. You can float. General Mahamatra in the charge of supervising the researchers of the academia. So he isn't a researcher himself then. I was correct. Probably supervises them on expeditions or something. Or excavations. It's said that when he gets down to work, the General Mahamatra is even more efficient than the great... Vayu Vyastra, made by the Ksha Rawar. Okay, I think those are the only two he does here. Well, it perhaps is a bit premature to have gotten him, but I needed, I needed to try, and I'm happy I did. It'll be a long time before we start using him, though. <laughs> That's for sure. But when we can, oh, I will absolutely be building him up. All right, as you can see, we have successfully obtained Sino. So, I mean, I'll probably still build Razor anyways because he's such a good boy. But Sino is basically the better version of Razor. Um, oh, so we can build Razor now. We can't build Sino now. Not for a long time. That's another reason to do it. Um... Now, we we are here in the Ayaka estate. Because, I mean, or I guess the Kamisato estate. What better place to wish, to pray, for Ayaka to join us on our journey than here? Let's get rid of this really quick. Ayaka. If you so see fit, please join us. Oh, a Favonius Warbo. Uh, I would rather have a Stringless, thank you very much. Stringless is great. Must make offerings. There we go. There's our Mika. Wait. No, no. I was thinking, uh, I don't know. <laughs> My eyes saw the S and thought, stringless? But no. There's our Mika. Which is great, but what we wish, what we must have. Is Ayaka. There's our, I'm pretty sure, C6 Diona. Wait. Didn't say we got anything from her, did it? Did I miss that? There it is. Okay. Yeah, there's our C6. Let's go take care of that right now. In the sunlight. And when the moon's out, bathe in the moonlight. Yep. Cat's tail closing time. Uh, increases healing bonus by 30% when HP falls below or is equal to 50%. And elemental mastery increased by 200 when HP is above 50%. That's nothing to sneeze at. 
makes Diona, well, probably quite S tier as a healer slash uh, shielder slash support for at least some party configurations. Sunlight, but when the moon's out, bathe in the moonlight. All right, let us continue. Favonius Codex. We have too many of those. I don't need more Favonius Codexes. I don't think I have anyone using any. At least give me the sacrificial fragments. Should be getting her or a five star soon in this next one or two, I think. Should be around wish 70 to 80. Oh, nice. That'll get us a little bit more glitter. Pretty sure I've done some calculations. I'm sure other people have as well. But uh, assuming the pity starts at 74, the soft pity, and the uh, it increases up to 100%, up to 90 in, in even increments, then you basically have a 99% chance of obtaining your 5 star by wish 80. Rain Slasher. I get that surprisingly frequently. I think that might be C3 now, or C4 even. Uh, C, uh, R3 or R4 for me. Maybe it's only R2. Yeah, it's got to be at least R3. I would really love to see some Mikas or Sucroses. I'm getting a lot of weapons this time around. Seemingly more so than usual. There we go. There's another Mika. Another Ravonius Codex. Here it comes. There it is. Just one of these days. Besides, I mean, my very first one with Eula was uh, like, I think in the 50 wish range, maybe. But, um, just one of these days, I would like to see myself get a five star before soft pity hits. A man can dream. And it's Chi Chi! You know, on the one hand, I really want Ayaka. On the other, I've been needing Chi Chi for my. You know. <laughs> I, need, I need to pair her with Hu Tao. I just, I gotta, because of their trailer. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for so long. <laughs> but damn it, Chi Chi. This is not the time. <sighs> oh. Well, I'm not too upset. I'm still gonna put all my wishes into it and uh, 
any wishes I get between now and when this banner finishes, which might, we might get a second five star before then. Another sucrose. Very good. And another, another sucrose. Man, we're just stacking up the sucroses. She's... Is it my second or third one this time around? She was at C1. Or maybe C2. So she's like C4 or 5 now. And another Diona. Alright, we in fact did not get any other four or five stars. I'll wait to wish on this banner. I like to do it when I have a lot of standards. No Ayaka just yet. But there's still hope before her banner ends. At uh, 108 wishes. Before I started. It gave her take a few from extras from when I wished on Sino. In fact, how many were there? Oh no, his was the very last one. So 108 wishes, depending on uh, how many exactly it was before. I think I saw 28. So 28 plus maybe a few. Yeah, I need to get my hands on another like 40 or 50 wishes before uh, it's absolutely guaranteed guaranteed that I get her but silly churl, billy churl, silly billy hilly churl. Churl. <laughs> um I feel like I don't know if it's just me but it seems like she goes into her idol poses more frequently than others except for when I wanted her to when I uh, was trying to take pictures. That was the one time she seemed to take forever. All right, Sucrose, how many of you do we have now? Okay, she started at C2, which I think she means we might have her at C6 now. Yeah, her C4 is pretty useless for me. But her C6, damn it. We still can get her C6 before this is over. It is the one that's really nice. Triggers an elemental absorption. All party member. If it triggers an elemental absorption, all party members gain a 20% elemental damage bonus for their corresponding absorbed element during its duration. It's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, her C1 and her C6 are really good. Oh, and her C2. C1, C2, and C6. We already have Diona at C6, and we now have our... Where are you, Mika? Our Mika. What is your... You're gonna snap that string. Doesn't look as thick as I'd expect a string for a crossbow to be. Oh, he uh, uses the same material as Razor. That's fun. Okay, yeah. Pseudo stamens. Stamens. Definitely a Sumeru boss. Very nice. Get rid of the, uh. Wait, oh, do I have another one? I do. C1, Mika. Decreases the uh, interval by 20%. What does it actually end up being? I mean, normal is two, so... Then brings it down to two seconds, so... I mean, it said it has the maximum of five, though, doesn't it? I think I read that somewhere. I think that was just because that was the, uh... 
No. Because it should have six. Well, assuming it doesn't, um, assuming he can still, uh, keep, uh, healing throughout the duration, no matter what. I think it's a good number of more ticks, like at least one. Or two, even. One or two more ticks. Oh. Attack speed bonus increases with the uh, level. That's not surprising. And zombie. <laughs> don't don't want to lose the, uh, the talisman there. Isn't that what keeps you alive? Or is it? Or is it what controls you? Keeps you under control by yourself. One, two, three, three, four, <laughs> and, um, <sighs> she is precious too. Uh, all right. I also needed her for my small squad. Her, but that 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 that's still a work in progress. We still need Clee, of course. Oh, she'll use the violet grass. The first one uses that, I think. Oh, and the four, uh, the horror frost core. Well, I can start building her immediately if I want. Fact. Why not? Let's um. One, two. Let's get her up. A few, at least. Life prolonging methods. You know, I don't now think I've... I have more power, but what does that mean? <laughs> Me... Please explain. Well, Thank Chi you. Chi Chi, it means that uh, you can assist me better. It means you uh, have less chance of One, uh, double two, dying. Three, three. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually done her trial. She just hasn't shown up on a banner, so. Which I suppose isn't surprising. She's a standard banner character. Understand. Do you? When I get stronger, I need to put more effort into controlling my strength. Oh. I like how it's continuing from her previous one. But yes. Oh, hey, her, uh, she gets healing bonuses, her secondary stat. That's kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen that for anyone else. I'll bet that maybe Barbara has the same, if anyone. And three. No comment for three. Too bad. So sad. Yeah, she gets quite a bit of base defense compared to her base attack. Her base attack is really bad. But, I mean, that's not her, her role. Man, we can still keep going. I kind of wonder if I can actually get her up to all the way up. Probably not. I don't think I have the violet grass for that. I need to grow some in my garden. In the past, I did not understand the idea of being stronger than I already was. No? Now that I understand it well, I wish I was just a little stronger still. One, <laughs> two. Well, we'll get you there. Don't worry, Chi Chi. Who, who is her voice? Christy Kate. Apprentice and herb gatherer at Boo Boo Pharmacy. An undead with a bone white complexion. She seldom has much in the way of words or emotion. Right. And that's the end. Actually, I could One, probably make two, those. Breathe. Three, four. There we go. And how much does what does your final one require? Yeah, now I definitely can't go there. I don't. Two, three, I, I could make three, enough of those almost certainly. Four, and, um, I have a lot of cryo material, but yeah, I don't have the boss or the violet grass, so 
<laughs> There's no way I'm getting 50 violet grass. Not right now. But yeah, that's, uh, I kind of do want to take a look at what her talents are, though. So she's a sword. So she, uh, she uses a sword. Adeptus. Oh, she has the Adeptus Arts. That's cool. Adeptus Art Herald of Frost. Using the Ice Vein Talisman, Chi Chi brings forth the Herald of Frost, dealing cryo damage to surrounding opponents. On hit, Chi Chi's normal and charged attacks regenerate HP for your own party members and nearby teammates. Okay, so you have to keep her on field heal, which is less good than some of the others. But it does all your entire team, it seems, so. Also, her healing scales with attack instead of HP. That's kind of nice. Periodically regenerates your active character's HP. Oh. So. You actually can take someone out if you need to. You'll just have less healing potential. And follows the character around, dealing cryo damage to opponents in their path. I use this to prevent warming and rot of Dr. Bay's precious ingredients. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. That's great. Um. Yeah, attack scaling. That's pretty unique, actually. Makes her a bit more of a support. More useful as a support, rather. If I'm mistaken about that needing her to be on field, though, that's even better. But you still have the continuous regeneration regardless. I wonder what that ticks at. Now, the cooldown is pretty bad, though. 30 second cooldown. For 15 second duration, that... 15 second off time. Not great. Adeptus Art Preserver of Fortune. Chi Chi's really uh Chi Chi releases the Adeptus power sealed within her body. I guess it's she was raised from the dead with adeptal energy, perhaps. Um Sealed within her body. Marking nearby opponents with a fortune preserving talisman that deals cryo damage. It's a fortune preserving talisman, though. Seems like it should be beneficial. When opponents affected by this talisman take damage, the character that dealt this damage regenerates HP. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's uh, quite the little healer, isn't she? I am the ma I am the fortune preserver, the maiden of resurrection. Chi Chi does not remember these words. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, does ninety percent attack. Plus five seventy seven. Pretty nice. A better cooldown and uh, duration uh, with the same duration. Energy cost of eighty. So if you stagger her uh, burst and her uh, skill, you get constant healing basically all right then definitely a healer for first and foremost though skill only deals the damage once unfortunately this one though also only deals damage once Oh, 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 oh. You know, when it says on a hit, Chi Chi's normal and charge attack, attacks regenerate HP. Wait, no, no, never mind. I was thinking that by on hit, it meant with the hit of the skill, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It's a shame I can't test her out effectively in the, uh, in the trial. Life prolonging methods. 
When a character under the effects of Adeptus Art Herald of Frost triggers an elemental reaction, their incoming healing bonus is increased by 20% for 8 seconds. Oh, wow. Seriously, such a little healer. You're definitely going to be the healer for my small squad. Um, Glimpse into Arcanum. When Chuchi hits opponents with her normal and charged attacks, she has a 50% chance to apply a fortune-preserving talisman to them for 6 seconds. The effect can only occur once every 30 seconds. Hmm. And former life memories. Displays the location of nearby resources unique to Liwa on the minimap. So, similar to Yanfe. Well, yeah, I wasn't actually expecting a, a squad dedicated to small characters to actually be effective, but it seems like she'll go quite well with uh, Kali. Or she'll fit her... She'll fit us one of those slots very well. I'm not sure how well the others will fit, though. I mean, one will be Nahida, of course, so... I mean, provides some nice dendro. I'm not sure which dendro abilities correspond to pyro and cryo, but I'm sure they're fine. And I forget who the other would be. If I even have them yet. You'd think Diona, but no. She might be small, but she's not adorable enough. Sayu's an option. Oh, 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 oh. What does Dendro Resonance get you? Because Yao Yao is uh, such an obvious choice. More so than uh, Nahida? Remains to be seen. Not Dory. Once again, same problem as with... Uh, as with uh, Diona. Not quite adorable, just small. And the adorableness is an important component. At the moment, Sayu is who I'm leaning towards. We'll see if there's anyone I'm forgetting that fits the role better, though. That I just don't have. Oh, let's take her out really quick. When the sun's out, bathe in... I wanna... Just see. I'm here. Yes, you are. What her, uh, skills look like. Oh, little fast swords, uh, sword user. Honestly? Oh, no, never mind. Seemed like she might be faster than a spear user, which wouldn't make sense, but no. Okay, so it's AoE. And period uh, periodically swings around to try and hit other opponents. That's a nice little bit of support. Man, it hits on uh, a nice little cadence too. Like once every one and a half seconds or so, maybe. Maybe two seconds. Doesn't quite feel like two seconds though. And it'll do 96% damage. No, 36% damage. Not great. Definitely gotta stack her attack as much as possible. Her, um... Like I said, her base attack seems pretty bad. Usually. Like, look at that. I mean... Though, actually, is this including her with her weapon? Huh? It might be. Let's test that out. Did that raise her attack a lot? Yeah, it did. Okay, so that's why theirs seems so much higher. Because they have weapons. If we were to, um... Take yours off. Then all of a sudden... Yours is also lower than your defense. Though, not as bad as Chi-Chi's was. But you're also a god, so... Yeah, I gotta say, her, uh... Her defense is pretty nice, actually. Better than Venti's. Not as good as his. Well, 
Once again, they might be... This is probably also including artifacts. So if I looked at, for example, your base defense... Yes, yeah, 751. 712. But then, already at 749, One, and two, she still has a... Three, three, 15 four, levels to go. Ten, plus um, an ascension. Hers is pretty high. Uh, two, I can't look at her burst right now, but... Four, and, Fiona, or I mean, Chi-Chi. Uh, Do you not have any other idle animations? <laughs> or is that your only one? I am so sorry. You deserve more love. Alright, we have wasted... <laughs> well, maybe not wasted is the right word. We have used quite a lot of time, though. Well, on all of that, so let's get started on this, uh... This quest. Pretty a few of these Sakura Blooms. Um... There we are. Okay, that's where it is. The Konda Village. The Sakura Cleansing Ritual. I really love that forest. It's so beautiful. An eternal twilight. Or not even twilight, just straight up eternal night. Hey guys. Don't mind me. Let's get down to business. Let night fall. Let me leave you up. Rain. I told you not to mind me. I don't think we're going to get very far on this quest this time because of all the other stuff we had, but we'll go a little longer than usual. To make up for it. Uh, you say Conda Village is here, but... Oh, there it is. Uh, village? You guys doing well? It's very, um... Poor looking village. Yasuda? Anything to say? Hello there. Would you like to take a stroll with me? Um. I don't really know you. May I ask your name? Haha. <laughs> uh, I'm just an ordinary elderly person. Are you? I mean, I saw the white hair, but I assumed you were like maybe 50 at most. After retiring from the Tenryo Commission, I don't really have much to do. I come out and walk around every day to listen to the birds, to feed the cats and dogs. Jah! I am so jealous that you are able, actually capable of doing such. Oh, wait, no. We can feed some of the dogs. It's petting that we can't do. And to look at the view. I was always busy when I was young. I never knew that Inazuma had such beautiful cherry blossoms. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, are you not from Inazuma? But no, he just never took the time to look around, I guess. Or that the creeks here were so clear and wonderful. We age, but the world remains. So all I have, so all I want to do now is enjoy the rest of life, rest of the life I have left. Do, won't you get tired of it if you look at it every day? No. Oh, this is the part that young people like you wouldn't understand. Though the scenery around here never changes, the people and the things related to it do. It's very interesting if you pay attention to those changes. Oh yeah, I'll bet. I once met a young man wearing a maple red shirt who had the ability to read the weather. 
The clothes that I hung out to dry would have gotten wet if he hadn't told me about the rain. A maple red shirt. Um, probably not Toma. And if you think about it, if I wasn't out and out and about like this, I wouldn't have met an outstanding outlander like yourself either. Am I right? <laughs> uh, fair enough, fair enough. Very true. I'm still gonna clip these, uh, these sakura blooms, their cherry blossoms, in case I do get Ayaka. We should be hopeful, damn it. I made my choice. I chose uh, to get my Sino, and I stand by that choice. He really did win me over. This should be Kanda Village. Secrets. Hmm. Yes, Paimon smells something suspicious. Do you now? You sure it's not food, Paimon? Paimon's nose is better than a dog's. How rude! Paimon is just, just saying the obvious. <laughs> I love messing with you, Paimon. <laughs> it might look very peaceful here, but Paimon's sure that there's got to be something dark going on. Really? And why do you say that? What evidence do you have, Paimon? Just because the fox lady said so. There's got to be some secrets here. Miss Masked Maiden said so. She did. And I do believe her too, but we are... Operating solely on her word here. I don't see anything suspicious yet. Anyway, let's talk to the locals first. Maybe we can find something out. A dark secret? That's right! Alright. Let's, uh, let's unlock... Wait, did that guy disappear? Or was he never there to begin with? Dun dun dun. Growing some nice looking tomatoes. Oh, wait. Well, that's right, we're supposed to be here for Ayaka as well. Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden, after all these years? We're gonna have to do these in tandem. Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. Why is it his job to take the children out to play? Let's go over and see. We can, but Paimon, don't you want to search for the dark secrets? I mean, on the one hand, we could just get this task, the ta the Conda Village task out of the way. Well. I mean, they are locals, and we need to talk to locals anyways, so... kid I started looking this way because I saw the star on the map but huh? get down from here it's dangerous amazing you climbed up so easily I mean yeah we're pretty good climbers but yeah kid you shouldn't be climbing on roofs hmm looking at you lady you should be an outlander right you are very good eyes It's been a super long time since I've seen an Outlander. If, hmm, makes me wonder if the uh, Sokoku Decree isn't quite as old as you. If that, if I take that as a hint, that means it's maybe, it's less than 10 years old. Which actually, judging by a lot of the uh, people in uh, the village off in that -ish direction, it's probably actually only a few years old at most. Well then, speak. What can Kanda Takaru do for you? Oh, outlander from afar? <laughs> You're a cheeky little kid, aren't you? What an arrogant little kid. Paimon? Don't call the kettle black. 
Miss Pot. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Shh. Keep your voice down. I can't tell you. But, or I can tell you. But promise me you won't get scared. I promise. I won't get scared, but I can't promise Paimon won't. During thunderstorms, things get spooky around here. Oh? I mean, thunderstorms are the domain of the Raiden Shogun, I assume. There's a strange, spooky ghost lady. Oh. Presumably not Dusty Ming. I'd be shocked to see her this far from Liwa. Oh, I'll say hi when I see her. Huh. How can you be so calm after I told you something like that? Well, you know, I know a few ghosts. I also know a zombie. Would you like to meet her? When I told Grandpa Densuke, he didn't believe me either. He said that I must have been mistaken. I mean, I've seen multiple ghosts, so... It's not outside the realm of possibility. Any other unusual things going on? I guess that would be the broken cart at the entrance of the village. I don't see one, unless it's that over there. I wonder who left it there. I don't know, some merchant or villager broke down and hasn't fixed it yet. See, that's it over there. There are hill trolls digging, in that, digging at it too. Hill trolls do that all the time. Wait, no. That's not a hill troll, that's a... It's an Ashigari. Seems kind of helpful, but also kind of unhelpful. Let's keep asking around, starting with the head of the village. Is that one of these guys? Oh no, he's over there. Where is that? Is it underground? I guess it's gotta be. Alright, let's take care of this. This task, it's gonna be bugging me. This whole time if we don't. Uh, so, why the change? If you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. What is the change we're talking about, Kenjiro? It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong. And still, they confiscated oh, his vision. Oh, that... After that, he became a completely different person. Maybe more cautious? I mean, he didn't have a vision anymore. I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important mm. to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times, and then out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. You see, where is it this guy we're talking about? Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. Mm. He's a lost soul. You know, I kind of have to agree with you. If you're worried about his mental state after having suffered that loss, probably isn't very wise to let him wander off into the wilderness alone both because he may be depressed but also because uh well he can't protect himself as well anymore seems like he's a well-respected guy around here so is that why you wanted him to take the children out to play just to help him out Ijima. Ah, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Why do you think that? I mean, Ayaka asked me to help out here. She didn't specify the resolution that she wanted, though. It's happened. Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Oh, wow. It's a quite a long time. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near... Resolving quarrels between the villagers. 
He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. Yeah. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We can't help but wonder, was it something we did? No, no. It's not what I. It's not what it sounds like to me. We will gladly apologize if Aww. that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. Well, like I said, it, his concerns, I think, are reasonable. But if leaving would help him uh, restore his happiness, then I'm not so sure it's right to make him stay. It really depends on the, his state, his situation. Let's try and find out more from him. You must be Tejima. So what's made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? Yeah. Let's hear from the horse's mouth. I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. Oh. You mean... Friends? Family? It's her community. It's been for so for 30 years. Did you not make uh, feel connected to this place in all that time? You've lived here for a long time. True. But that's not why I chose to stay here. Why did you? And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? Do you not know? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Oh. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like a slice of my huh. memory is gone. That's curious. I suppose visions are a bit more um, tied to a person than one might think at first. A bit more of them rather than just something they possess. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Oh, so you don't actually think wandering around will help you. You just... It's more just because, why not, kind of situation. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? I s maybe. Not necessarily. Depends on if the reason still holds sway over him, but... Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. I mean, I would imagine people who've known him for 30 years might know. Damn it, Paimon. That is not how this works. In fact, the harder you try to rem I mean, one, it seems impossible because it seems to have literally hit some of his memory seems to have been stolen away with the vision. But uh, also, the harder you try to remember something, the harder it becomes to remember. Have you never had that happen to you, Paimon? Or you know you're forgetting something and the more you try to think about it, the further it gets from your mind? That reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Tejima, are we... Do we have permission to read your diary? Mm, I keep a diary? Oh. If you say so. I honestly can't seem to remember. Damn. It really is... This is uh, yeah, this is no, definitely not just him being forgetful this is actual memory being stolen away with the vision it seems oh yes yes you do and what's more i remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things things which would prove very important Man. at a later date 
This vision hunter Kree is even more cruel than I thought. It has this kind of effect. I think I see what Ayaka is trying to do here, though. Using these uh, people harmed by the vision hunt decree to try and convince us to help her. Probably. Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. And of course, even if it doesn't help, even if it doesn't convince us, I suppose she still gets to come out on top with us having helped a few people. If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. Of course. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. You are already in the village, though, are you not? I mean, yes, it's the outskirt of the village, but it's still a village. All right. Seems it's right over here. Oh, yeah. Tejima's diary, all right. Thankfully, he did not hide it away, apparently. Let's see what we have here. Today, the villagers and I got together to cook dried raised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, <laughs> so I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. <sighs> oh. Today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. Oh no. I searched the water the whole afternoon before finding out <laughs> that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. <laughs> Damn it, kid. Uh, really? Could have used that information before. I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. I soon realized I was never going to get it back. So I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away into the distance. It seems like he enjoyed his life in the village. Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. I mean, yeah. I imagine that's what he actually wanted was just a nice, quiet place to call home and be a part of the community. Huh? Wait, there's more! It's the most obvious answer, at least. To pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Omamori. Not familiar. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for. Time to pay a visit to the shrine. Which shrine? Paimon doesn't say. There's shrines all over the place. There's a shrine right there. I guess we should start with that one. Oh, it is that one. Simon Airy. I love so this theme. This is the Omamori Tejima wrote about. What is? Mm, interesting. Oh. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. Maybe it did. Maybe there was someone, uh, maybe a childhood friend who's from this village. If I had to guess, since they were coming to the shrine to talk about it, perhaps someone who's no longer with them. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? I mean, maybe. Not sure if that works that way, but maybe. Oh, that's what you mean. To follow his trail. Let's go through the house. Over. Oh. To the tree. Here we are. This seems to be somewhere that Tejima visited a Oh. A grave. The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe. Maybe Tejima buried something precious here. Well, maybe something not. That kept him in the village all these years? I hope if we're going to dig this up that it ends up not being a grave. Must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. 
Let's dig it up and take a look. What are we gonna find? Okay. Looks like a letter. The paper's gone yellow. Must have been written I still a think really my I, first idea is I'm, I'm still leaning towards that. Someone from this village who uh, probably loved this village and uh, that he cared for that is no longer around. Honda Village. Sounds so familiar. Where is that place again? That's where we are, Paimon. I don't... <laughs> it's Paimon. Uh, oh, if we become separated during war, go wait for me in Conda Village. There will be a safe home for us there. Yeah. It's here, Paimon. Huh. So the reason Kejima came here was to wait for someone. But they never came. But he's been here for 30 years. Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? So a little different than what I was saying. But also kind of similar. Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. Yeah. I wonder who it was. Maybe they'll, uh, these items will spur his memories. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. All these items that are just non-existent. Oh, no, there it is. Stop that. Haunting me now. Tejima? Well, I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me too. Well, the handwriting was on the letter, was it not? Oh, the diary. <clears throat> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here. And that I chose to wait for 30 years. Someone very important to you. I imagine, though, you probably, especially since it was getting separated on war, you probably, I would say, pretty quickly realized that they weren't coming. And why. But still chose to stay here anyways. Like they said in the letter, it would be a safe place for them to make a home. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. Yeah. And just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. It can. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been hollowed out. Yeah, it seems visions, like I said, are more part of you than I at first thought. Love, like a piece of your regret, soul, almost. Everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. Does that make you feel sad? No, not especially. That in and of itself is kind of tragic, actually. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. Hmm. But you do recall some of it? It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if... All these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. I see. Do you still plan on leaving, then? I think... maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Uh, maybe. 
like I said, after 30 years, I strongly doubt that they're coming. Although, what if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? Maybe. When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? Because you're like nice, a good person. Emptiness. The feeling that something is missing. I mean, something is missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. You're welcome. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Kejima seems to be dealing okay, but still, it makes Paimon really sad. Yeah, yeah. Losing a reason to feel sad is maybe the saddest thing of all, seriously. Seems it's just like Ayaka and Tomo were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. It's a little bit more literally, in fact, than I might have thought at first. Yeah. Don't say, like I said, don't think I don't see what you're doing here, Ayaka. That certainly explains the state Tejimo was in earlier. Shouldn't we be having this conversation away from him? At least we were able to help him, weren't we? You know, not pretend he isn't standing right there. <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. Yeah. Well, no. This was just a slight detour from, uh, since I figured it wouldn't take very long, from the, uh, our actual goal here in Konda Village to uncover dark secrets, Paimon. Or did you already forget? You're the one who said you could smell them. According to Miss Kamisato, the second one who lost their vision is a samurai from the Tenryo Commission. I do remember that. But that is not what we're after at the moment. Hello there, Chief. Tokiali Pay Tales Prologue. Hmm. Oh, do you mind if I take a few of your melons? I already have one who flows, uh, you know. I have a lavender melon that flies around with me, but I can always use more. Konda Densuke. Wow, he actually has the uh, name of the village as his family name. What can I do for you, youngster? You are? My name is Konda Densuke, and I am the village chief. From the way you dress, or maybe it's more of a title. You must be an outsider, I mean, outlander, right? It's been a long time since an outlander has come to the village. I wonder why he didn't want to use the term outsider. How can I help you? Need a place to rest your feet? Or do you need help to find your way up the mountain? Uh, do I? I'm looking for a place to rest. No. Or, no! We're here to ask about the secret of Konda Village. Oh boy. Secret? Yeah, Paimon, you, you, you um, you're not supposed to just come out and say you're after secrets. Silly. That's not how you do this. You gotta. You gotta sort of worm your way in and uh, trick the secrets out of them. Build some trust first. Konda Village doesn't have any secrets. Although the economy isn't good these days, all the taxes that should be paid to the police station are paid regularly regardless. There are only a few families in our village, all with a long history, and we know each other's roots. How could we have any secrets? Calm down a little. He doesn't seem that excited. Konda village is simple and peaceful. There are no secrets here. Well, there's secrets everywhere. If you're looking for secrets, 
Why don't you just go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and learn the secrets of deciphering fortune slips? I've already done that, actually. Or how about you go to Chinju Forest and see if you can hear the Tanuki Bayashi, huh? Oh, I guess he is a little excited. In fact, even a little upset, perhaps. Good job, Paimon. Look what you did. Whew. Sorry. I might have overreacted. Kanda Village is a peaceful place. Youngster, are you sure you don't have the wrong village? I'm pretty sure. But, Paimon, you already ruined this. Stop it. If you don't believe me, you can look around yourself. I, Kanda Danske, will not stand in your way. Ugh, that village was said so tight-lipped. How annoying. Paimon, let's go find some villages and collect more clues. Then we'll see what he's got to say. You were... This is your fault, Paimon. You, you just came out and said, I want your secrets. That's not how it works. There are two of those nearby, and I want them. One up in the tree, maybe? Maybe not. I'm not seeing it. Once again, it feels like there's an underground place, or perhaps they just aren't on the map yet for some reason. If we need to do this quest first for some reason. Well. That's probably a good place to stop for now. So next time we can go and investigate, interrogate the village even more. Hopefully Paimon will not just come out and blurt that we're after secrets this time. <laughs>